So, Dion. Hey. How many calls do you think you do on an average day? Maybe two, three. How many estimates do you write? Probably about two, three per job, average. Whenever you get a call to go out for, let's say, a sink, what do you typically do on the call? Uh, well, of course, meet and greet, just be nice to the customer, have a look at everything that's not just the initial issue, but everything that might have anything to do with it. So definitely check the pressure to the house, you know, quickly look at the water heater. If you just go out for a sink, do you just write an estimate for the sink? Nine times out of 10, there is more going on uh, that a homeowner is not aware of. So if you keep your eyes peeled, you'll definitely see something else that would be uh, worthy of at least letting them know they have an issue with something. And then, you know, it's only the right thing to at least give them a possible solution for the issue as well. So how often have you given an extra estimate and the customer has gone with it? Um, as in like an estimate that uh, we weren't called out for? Right. Uh, honestly, quite often. I, I want to say maybe like a third of all cases, of a, a third of all jobs probably. Yeah. You know, maybe there's a couple other small things that need to be done at the house. And you can... The customer has an issue and, and the only way to get to a solution is by creating an estimate. Is your attitude and the way that you talk to, you, to the customer, does that affect the sales? Yeah, of course. Of course, you know, people don't want to buy anything from somebody they don't like. But. So Dion, if you've gone out to a customer's house and you've, you know, written them quite a few estimates and it's a lot of stuff that they need done, but the price is kind of high, uh, what do you typically do? Um, so yeah, we do add-on pricing and then we, we give discounts, especially if it's like bigger jobs, uh, multiple things at once. Um, Every company always has like a, a certain margin in their pricing. So really it kind of depends as well on like how busy are we? If we're not that busy, we can go a little lower and definitely at some point um, call the office and just kind of see what they think would be like a bottom price on everything. And we always have a 10% discount for veterans and for uh, senior citizens. So that definitely helps too. If, if they're not happy about the estimate, that doesn't make me feel bad about giving the actual estimate. Have you ever dealt with a customer that you felt like was a little bit uh, frustrating or annoying? Uh, I, I generally just try and pretend like it's my own grandma. Uh, she doesn't understand everything anymore. It's they're from different times, you know, and so sometimes you gotta be a little bit more patient with them. And you know, if you have to repeat yourself uh, a couple more times, uh, yeah, so be it. You went out there for one small thing how yeah. many how many estimates did you end up writing? I think it was like four or five. 